Batman. I don't know. I really don't. I don't know. The real life Batman is here to show off his freaky friends. You can do it. You can do it. Watch, watch, watch. Oh, no. <laughs> and all of their unusual benefits. Researchers were able to synthesize that exact enzyme. It's called Draculin. And so they're actually using medication for stroke victims. Bats can carry viruses that are harmful to humans, including rabies. Rabies can be easily transmitted from bats to humans through minor bites or scratches. Around 60,000 people die worldwide every year. In 2010, rabid bats were documented in 49 states. And bats often enter people's homes looking for shelter. Which brings us to the important question. What should you do if you find bats in your home? You know, those are some staggering statistics, but before you clear out our studio, bats play a really important role in our ecosystem. We have bat expert and founder of the organization for bat conservation, Rob Myers, here to help teach us some tips on bat safety, but also to talk about their importance in the ecosystem. And, yeah. Rob, thank you for oh, being yeah. here. All right, so, you know, one of the greatest things is that bats eat tons of mosquitoes. Oh, then I they love eat bats. mosquitoes, flies, moths, beetles. Bats are the primary predators of nighttime insects. How many mosquitoes does a bat? I was reading some statistics about thousands, thousands of mosquitoes that a bat will eat. Right. So one bat by itself eats about 2,000 to 6,000 insects every single night. Wow. That's Whoa. a lot. Yeah, it's a ton of That's insects. That's a busy night. So they're really active. They're the only mammals in the world that can fly. So I'm going to pass this bat on to you right here. Hold your hand out just like this. I've never held... I know, right? <laughs> yeah, really, Easy. probably Drew's. nobody has. <laughs> okay. um, so our bats around here are tiny little bats. They have small teeth that, yes, yeah. if you, you know, have one around, Jim, you need to be careful. I think it's feeding time. Yes. Okay. Let's take a look here. Is he going to eat it? Eat. Here's your yummies. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Look at all. <laughs> Dude. Uh, there oh, we go. Yeah. I think one more, Jim. There we go. Does he want another one? Does he need to be burped? Uh, not yet. <laughs> He's good right now. Now, okay, I want to emphasize, one... and Rob, have you clarified, these bats, mm -hmm. every bat that's in the studio has been checked. There's no infectious diseases because, Correct. you know, oh. bats, I, I mean, that is really cute in your Isn't hand. It? But, but bats <laughs> it? in the wild can be rabid, one yes. of the major causes yeah. of mm -hmm. rabies. So as we bring out, let's bring out some more of these yep. bats. Yeah. Okay. I have a question. How, do I hold this bat the whole show? or <laughs> Do you do, want to? Do, do, I mean, do you want him back? Uh, if you or? let him go, he's going to bite us. I mean, I, I, I feel rabies. bad. So let's, doing, yeah, let's, let's bring out some more bats and okay. talk about, because that's a great tip. Don't freak out. You don't use yes. the broom to kill the bat. You just want to get the bat out of the house. Hello. All right, so. I just, <laughs> All right, there are other bats in the world. These are fruit bats, and fruit bats are one of the best animals for the rainforest. And that's because fruit bats hey, spread seeds in the forest. They also pollinate plants. There are hundreds of species of plants, uh, like avocado, uh, peaches, He's on the mangoes. <laughs> here comes Suppy. Here comes Suppy. Ingot, uh, 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 Congo, come on over here. Congo. Okay, okay. Congo, okay, time, okay, time for go. Suppy, Congo. Congo. Okay, and then We've got this bat right here. I, I don't know. I really don't. <laughs> this, this is Angus, and Angus is an endangered species. He's from one tiny island in the middle of the Indian Ocean. And all these bats are rescued bats. With the Organization for Bat Conservation, I work with bats that can't be let go into the wild. You can do it. Come on, Travis. <laughs> watch, watch, watch. Oh, no. <laughs> watch. Ready? Come on, dude. You can do it. Oh. Hey, Rob. Rob, Rob, Rob. Rob. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. Okay. Yay! There we go. You did it. I like this guy. Look at this. That's a little that's chihuahua, a isn't yeah. it? Yeah, your bat is what really another, cute. What another, uh... Okay, I've got the bat that most yeah. people are afraid of. Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. Oh, he's... <laughs> Give him he's some like, food. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Turn around so everybody can see him. Yeah. Here you go. There you go. He's going to... No is, fruit? Is he hungry? Oh, I don't even know to eat. <laughs> He's running. He's a runner. All right, so this is the bat that everybody's uh, really afraid of. Hey, this is the vampire bat. Okay. So he the vampire him. bats are real. They only drink blood. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> Mainly only from cows. They live in Mexico, Central, there? and South yes. America. Yes. Okay. And here's the coolest thing that I know that you'll like. They have an enzyme in their saliva that helps blood clots. So I when they you. go up you, to buddy. an animal... Is he okay? He's okay, right? Yeah, yeah. Are you doing okay. all right with him? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> I just want to make sure. <laughs> right. Somebody peed. It's either him or me. I can't really tell. Peed? Yeah. Oh, it's definitely him. <laughs> so the vampire bat has a...
has a special enzyme in its saliva that helps to keep the blood flowing. Well, about 10 years ago, it was discovered that they could synthesize. Researchers were able to synthesize that exact enzyme. It's called Draculin. And so they're actually wow. using medication love, for stroke love. victims. Oh. So it, it can work up to nine hours later. So, you know, most of the time, uh, people need to go in within three hours to get medication so you don't have a lot of tissue damage. So the, the takeaway here with bats is there are a lot of great things about them. The one thing I do quickly have to say is if you do get bit by a bat, there is a chance it's rabid. Now, I know it's, it's yes. what, one half of 1%, so it's a low percentage, but you need to go to the emergency department where you can get immunoglobulin. It's one of those things where if you do get bitten and that bat has rabies, rabies is pretty much fatal That's right. if you don't get treated. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times it's not for a few months after you've been bit. It's one of those weird illnesses where the virus mm -hmm. just hangs out and eventually invades your central nervous system. Once you have symptoms of rabies, it's pretty much all over. And you're going to need yep. five different um, shots over the course of typically 14 days. So don't don't mess Rob, around if you do get Rob, bit by I think, bat. I think we have one more bat. We do we... have one more bat, and uh, Dr. Lisa, I think, is going to yeah, your turn. handle now the biggest bat in the entire world is coming Whoa. out. So she'll, she'll hold on to you like a branch. And so this is the largest species of bats in the entire world. It's called a giant flying fox. They're found in Malaysia and Southeast Asia. She has up to I, I a six-foot yeah. wingspan. Wow. <laughs> you want me to take her? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Uh, they have up to a six foot wingspan and they weigh pounds. Whoa. So in the wild, they have a huge wingspan. They're fruit eaters. Okay. So we can see, dead? we can also see if, uh, you can give her a big piece. Oh, big piece. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I guess you wanted more fruit too. Here, here buddy. What's here? Here you go. What's that? Oh, oh. Okay. He's hungry. <laughs> He's a little guy. Oh. So have a these bats, piece. have they, how come, have they lost their ability to fly? So these are rescued bats. So these are bats that can't fly anymore. They're injured or orphaned, and they're, they're not able Ow. to fly. Oh, he's biting me. Yeah. <laughs> he, wants, he, wants, he wants to come see yeah, daddy. He probably does. There you go. Let me put her up on here, too. And yeah. so we've, you know, we've introduced you to bats, hopefully allayed your fears, but at the same time, bats are a reservoir for other illnesses as well. So be smart with bats. Rob, thank you for coming like on the show. show. We really appreciate it. Up next. Not all animals make great pets. Find out which ones you should think twice about before making them part of your family. We'll cover that next.